Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome to the Coaching Carousel Dynasty. Well, entering into SEC play, at least coaching an SEC team, didn't go as planned here in game number one, but here now we face some SEC competition, so I guess we will get a good measuring stick on really where we are. After losing to Memphis, I think, you know, one thing that is apparent, you know, our offense doesn't really have an identity except handing the ball off to Jameis Johnson. We haven't really discovered a star at receiver yet. But we go against a lot of ranked teams this season. And first, the first one of the season is Oregon State. They lost in their opener to Michigan, who is number 13 in the country. They are number 12 right now. And they got blown out 17 to 45. But that doesn't mean this is going to be a light game at all. And we are in the rain, so it's going to make it more difficult to throw the football. So maybe handing off to Jameis Johnson today will pay off. Here is Hill in his first series throw to the sideline. That one's caught by Jeremy Five Coat for a gain of 16. Now Five Coat is technically listed as our third receiver on the depth chart, but he gets in all around. Here is Johnson handoff to the right side. This is a stretch play, and he will go for 20 yards. Both teams looking for the first win in today's game. As we are now at the 33, another handoff. This is Johnson. He takes it up the middle. That one will go for a gain of three. Now at the 30, play action fake. Jacob Hill throws across the middle, and he's got Glenn Turner inside the five. Tackle that about the three. A gain of 27. That's kind of what we want to do. Play action, move the pocket a little bit, and it's first and goal. Here's a handoff in the full house pistol formation. Jameis Johnson gets to the outside for the touchdown. Over 100 yards in game number one, and now he picks up his first touchdown of the game today. And he makes it 7-0 here for the Missouri Tigers. But the Beavers answer right back, so now we're into the second quarter. Here's Jacob Hill handing off to Jameis, and he picks up about a gain of four yards. As we get it now to a third and six. Play action fake again. Hill throws across the middle. And it's picked off. Who was that going to? That throw was not even close. And let's take a closer look. Jacob Hill threw this ball to the outside receiver. This ball wasn't even close. I mean, it was just absolutely terrible. So that will prompt Bubba Wilford to take the field. Our backup quarterback is in the game now. Before the season, we highlighted he's the more accurate of the two. We'll just see what he has today. We're down 14-7 right now. Is Wilford now in a second and three, handing it off to Jameis Johnson, who picks up the first down, gain of six. I think either quarterback you have in, Jameis is going to get his yards. 5.3 per carry now. Here's Cole running in motion. We're going to throw it to him. And it's a little bit of a, a orbital screen, and it will pick up a gain of two. Third and two now. Looks like a busted play. Wilford tries to pick it up with his legs. He's just not as mobile as Jacob Hill, and he's tackled behind the line. Here we move on to the fourth or to the third quarter. Here's a fourth and one handoff, and that's Johnson picking up another nice gain. He's at 76 yards on the day. Only seven points put up in the first half by Mizzou. Here's another handoff. This is Caden Walker, the backup running back into the game, and he picks up a gain of 10. So maybe running the football is kind of what we have to do here to move the ball down the field, especially in this rain. Here is another handoff. This time to Cole. He picks up a bunch of yards on this run, and Antonio Cole picks up 14 yards. And he's had a couple of nice plays so far. As we're across the 50 for the first time since the first quarter. Here's Wilford throwing deep across the middle. It's a touchdown to Glenn Turner, 33 yards. And Wilford comes in and throws an absolute dime here. And it's a great route by uh, Glenn Turner, but an excellent throw by Bubba Wilford for his first touchdown of the season. We end up tying it up at 14-14, but Oregon State keeps answering back. Here's Wilford, a quick throw to left side. He's got Jeremy Five Coat again, a gain of 18. The pressure was getting there. I wanted to wait a little bit, but the pressure was right in Wilford's face. He had to get rid of it. 18 yards nonetheless. 
Play action fake again. Throw across the middle. It's going to be caught by Richards. And Jaden Richards picks up a gain of 25 for his first catch of the game. Here is Glenn Turner again. Another jet sweep. Picking up great blocking inside the 10. And how about this drive? Moving the football. And it's a gain of 14. First and goal. The third quarter might end with this play. Here's a handoff. Johnson up the middle. His second of the day. It's a touchdown. Jameis Johnson is an explosive back. He gets in, ties this ball game up again. But Oregon State keeps answering back. 28-21, down by seven again. Here is Johnson. We're going to ride him all the way down the field now. It's a gain of six. It's now two and a half minutes to go here, third and four. Looks like Johnson might get this carry. An excellent hole up the middle. He breaks the tackle, falling forward. It's a gain of nine. One yard short of 100 yards for the second time this year. Another handoff. He has it on this carry. He gets to the outside, and he gets pushed out of bounds after a gain of nine. Now close to the 50. Play action. Throw, and that's Claflin. The tight end will pick up the first down. It's a gain of seven. As you can see, Bubba Wilford is just in a more accurate quarterback. This is what he does. He stays in the pocket, throws this one deep. Down the right side. It's, cut, it's caught for the touchdown. Jadon Richards will pick it up. Eight of ten, two touchdowns. He has as many touchdowns as he has in completions. And efficiency is the key with Bubba Wilford. You can just see he has a big arm. But Oregon State keeps answering. Another seven points. We're down by seven, 35-28. Here is Wilford throwing down the right sideline. It's going to be caught by Cole again. 42 yards. And we will call a timeout with 11 seconds to go. We have to get in the end zone here. Here is Wilford at the 30. He throws across the middle. It's a tight window. Jeremy Fivecoat has it. Tackled at the seven. We will call our second timeout. Six seconds to go. This is probably enough for two plays here. First and goal. Running Glenn Turner in motion. Here's Will for throwing. It's picked off by Ward. His second interception of the game. What a play. It's a good throw. A better defensive play. Wow, what a way to end this one. Wilford came in and did what he could, but an excellent defensive play at the end of that game. Won it for Oregon State. Mizzou will drop two straight to open the season. Jameis Johnson went over 100 yards. We at least got the football down the field today. Nobody went over 100 yards. Nobody had a big game, but we at least spread the football around. It made it difficult for the defense. Well, that sets up an 0-2 scenario going up against Alabama. At least we are at home this game. But it doesn't make it any easier versus the number two Crimson Tide. And they are amazing. Fifth overall in offense. They actually are struggling a little bit on defense. But doesn't make it any uh, you know worse than what they could be. So they have a very good quarterback as always. And then they have a very good receiving core, but their defense is still elite. They are 99 overall everything. So that defense rated uh, in the 70s right now is definitely going to go up over time. I mean, this is a very, very tough defense. So here we go. We are at home this game. Here is the first handoff of the game. It's going to be Jameis Johnson. He puts it on the ground. The first carry is a fumble. You've got to be kidding me. Jameis Johnson. He's our star. So if he's putting the ball on the ground already, it could be trouble today. Well, Alabama capitalized it. 7 to nothing. The first throw of the game by Wilford, who gets the start in this one. Way out of bounds. Second and 10. Handoff Johnson. We will go right back to him. We have to. He picks up a gain of four. Third and six now. Here is Wilford in the pocket. He has time, but then runs out. He throws to the right side. Claflin will lose a few yards after catching that one, coming back to it. Loss or a gain of three. But Alabama ends up putting more points on the board. It's now 10-0. But here is Jameis Johnson trying to run the football, and Alabama's defense is right there. It's Kendrick Blackshire. 
Third and 13, play action fake. Wilford tries to roll out and get rid of it, but the pressure was there right away. Another incomplete pass, and Alabama capitalizes again. It is 17 to nothing. They have scored on the first three possessions, 157 total yards to our nine. And now Missouri is in trouble. Three minutes to go here in the first half. Handoff to Jameis Johnson. He picks up a gain of five yards. Third and six now. Play action fake again. Wilford throws to the sideline. That's an excellent throw to Antonio Cole for a gain of 17 and a first down. So here is Wilford now. Handoff. This is going to be Caden Walker up the middle, and he picks up about a gain of six yards. Our first time at the 50-yard line today. A little read option, a little triple option, and Wilford keeps it, and they get the stop. So we get blanked here in the first half, and now we start the third quarter down 17 to nothing. So we need some offense here, trying to manufacture anything. Here's a quick screen out to the left side. It's Jeremy Five Coats, and he picks up a gain of 12, maybe something like that. Some plays that will get our guys out into space will help. First and 10 now, another handoff. This is Jameis Johnson who picks, puts out a move, and he picks up about a gain of 10. As now we're across the 50 for the first time at the 41. Another big hole. Jameis puts out a move. He falls forward to the 30, and now a gain of 12 yards. Jameis continues to run the football well. Obviously put the ball on the ground for the second time this year already. But he is still our shining star. Here's a throw to the sideline. This is going to be caught by Glenn Turner. And I like what I see from Glenn Turner as well, getting him into space. He's our one of our most athletic receivers. First and 10 running five, code in motion again. Another handoff to Jameis, and that one will pick up a gain of five. A lot of eye candy in this offense, a lot of motion, a lot of handoffs. Another handoff to Jameis inside the five, and it's now goal to go. A gain of six on that carry. Now we're inside the five. Handoff. Caden Walker checks in. It's a touchdown three yards out. And Mizzou is on the board for the first time today. 17-7 to made this a game. Now Alabama does end up fumbling on their next drive. So now Mizzou has good field position. Can we capitalize off of this great uh, field position here at the 20? It's now a third and nine. Here is Wilford moving to the right side. He looked across the middle, but that throw was too tight of a window. It's a gain of four on the scramble. And we will have to settle for three on that drive. But take a look at this. On the following drive, Alabama's offense is struggling. Two 10-yard penalties, a negative one-yard rush by Miller, and then a safety. So now somehow we have possession here at the end of the game. Three and a half minutes to go. Here is Luis Galvez out of the backfield. He picks up a gain of seven. And now we have to get into the end zone. Somehow, some way, we could come back and win this game. Jameis Johnson with the handoff. It's a first down. Third and ten now across the 50. Here's a quick throw. It's Jeremy Five Coat again. It's a gain of 16 to the 31. Can Mizzou pull this one off? We get into another third and eight. It looks like they might send the safety pressure, but they don't. Wilford throws, and that's a tight window again. Jeremy Fivecoat, gain of 16 yards. And what an excellent find by Wilford. Inside the 15, handoff. This is Jameis picking up a gain of six. This clock continues to run now. It's a second and four. Here's a handoff. Jameis again, a nice hole. He falls forward. And maybe we left too much time on the clock. But Missouri will take the lead late here with a minute 20 to go. We do go for two and get the two-point conversion. And now we're up by three. But here's this Alabama offense out on the field. This is a quick throw to the sideline, and they will stop the clock on that completion. Now close to the 50, another completion to the right side, another first down. And Alabama's continuing to run the, or move the football down the field. Another gain of six. Play action fake now. A second and four. Their quarterback's going to take off. He gets to about the 30, and he will get down. They have one of the best kickers in the nation here, so they're already in the field goal range. Throw to the sideline. Caught at the 11. And now there's 41 seconds left. 
They're squarely inside the 15. Now a third and nine. This time, a rollout is going to be a loss of seven. Deontay Young goes down. Johnny Walker Jr. with the sack. And they will settle for three. And we will go into overtime. So it's 20-20 now in overtime. Here is Wilford. The first pass is going to be to Jeremy Five Code, who's having a pretty good string of two games here. He's been a reliable target. Five receptions for 68 yards. That leads the team. Second and inches. Handoff. Caden Walker. Good hole. And he will walk in. Untouched. Alabama over pursuit on that run. And it's going to be six. Missouri takes the 27-20 lead here in overtime. And take a look. Alabama does score in their first possession. But then they go three and out and then settle for the field goal and miss from 37 yards out. So any score will win right now. So we want to be smart. Jameis Johnson is probably going to get the bulk of the carries here, but a play action here. Here's a quick throw, and that's Luis Galvez. You don't want to take too many chances on that throw. Third and inches. Third and three, I meant. Here is Johnson getting to the middle of the field. And now this one's set up at the 16-yard line. This is about a 33-yard field goal. The kick is good. We will hit our field goal and upset Alabama for the first win of the season. Incredible. I didn't think that this team would win versus Alabama. I mean, it did not start out pretty at all. Down 17-0. Then all of a sudden... Alabama struggled to score, and we had a bunch of defensive plays, including a safety, a fumble, and then in overtime, they had to miss field goal. Wow, what an ending to this game. But you got to give it up to Bubba Wilford. I mean, since putting him into the starting lineup, our team, our offense has been a whole lot better. But we get the victory, our first victory of the season. We are officially 1-0 in SEC play. Who would have thought, though? Versus Alabama, we get our first win. But here we are at one and two. I mean, I can't complain. We actually have been outscored 89 to 82 this season, but we got to win. Alabama drops to three and one. They will likely still be fighting at the end of the season for, you know, an SEC championship, but only time will tell. So we get our first win of the season versus Alabama. Let me know what you guys think of the quarterback change. And if we should stick with it, hit subscribe, hit that like button. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. I hope the rain don't come in November. Because the summer went way too fast. I'm trying real hard to remember all of the good times.